how to electronically submit a full cycle performance appraisal. A few reminders before you begin. First, supervisors should be the ones uploading performance appraisals for their direct reports. Employees should not be uploading their own performance appraisals. Second, make sure you've saved your completed performance appraisals as PDFs. Third, you want to make sure you know where you have these PDFs saved. And fourth, for consistency, be sure to name your completed performance appraisals as follows, with the employee's last name, first initial, and the cycle year. If possible, we recommend using Internet Explorer for the upload as it usually works the smoothest. Additionally, while filling out the form, please do not tab between the fields when completing it, otherwise it might reset what you've done. With that, let's get started. Your first step is to go to the submission form. You can find a link to this form on the Full Cycle homepage. After clicking the link, depending on your browser, you may be prompted to sign in. You can do so using your UNCW email credentials. Now you should be able to see the form. Double check the upper right hand corner. You should see your name here. If you don't see your name, then be sure to sign in with your credentials. Let's get started. First, choose the appropriate cycle year. Then choose your department. The departments on this list are the same as the ones on UNCW's directory. If you're not sure which department you're in, click here to go to the directory and find out. Now, you need to enter your name in the supervisor name field. The easiest way to do this is by clicking the book icon to the right of the field. Once the pop-up box appears, search for your last name. Once you find your name, select it, click OK, and it should populate in the supervisor name field. Repeat the same steps for the employee's name. If you have a common last name, you can also add a comma and type your first name to limit the search. Next, select the employee's classification. Please note that even though it doesn't say so, the EHRA option refers specifically to EHRA non-faculty employees. Then, you'll want to select the overall rating for that employee. Be sure that this rating matches the one on the appraisal that you're going to upload. Finally, you'll need to attach the employee's completed performance appraisal. To do so, click the paperclip icon. Then, find and select the employee's performance appraisal and click Open. Double check the file to make sure it's the right one and click Attach. If you have any additional attachments, such as employee comments, please upload them the same way. After making your attachments, double check all the fields to make sure they're correct. Then, in the upper left hand corner of the screen, click the Save button to submit. A pop-up will appear to let you know you've submitted successfully. Click OK. After submitting your appraisal, you'll be brought to a screen that has a table which shows you all of the submissions you've made so far. From this screen, you'll be able to review past submissions. You can make edits as needed. You can add other attachments and even delete a submission that may have been a mistake or a duplicate. To upload a completed appraisal for another employee, simply click the Add New Item button and the form will reappear and you can recomplete the process. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or problems, please don't hesitate to reach out to a member of the Full Cycle Performance team. If you're ready to submit your appraisals now, you can find the link in the description box below. Thanks and have a great day.